Hi, welcome to Lifestyle Chemistry, the first of our lessons in Lifestyle Chemistry. Now, first, I, I guess the whole point of this topic is that everything we do, everything we are, is chemistry. You, as an individual, is a, well, you're a big bag of chemicals, basically. That, even that bag that makes you up, your skin is made of chemicals, and that chemical is mostly fats that, you know, that make up the membranes of all your cells. Now, if we look at this first dot point, 1.1 here, we're basically identifying that we use a wide range of chemicals daily. Um, but first, we should probably revise very quickly what these chemicals are made of. You essentially have a with your atom, you have a, a nucleus, and oh, that's wrong already. Okay, even the best one mistake. So we, we have these neutral neutrons here and the, the positive protons, and these are surrounded by, in this case, electrons. Now, we're looking at this, and where we can see. But this is a helium atom, uh, one of the more abundant chemicals on Earth. And this in itself, just the atom, is physics, really. With chemistry, we're more looking at the interactions of these, which is you know, kind of pointless when looking at helium, because it's a noble gas. However, so basically the foods that we eat that supply substance, uh, sorry, the foods that we eat and the substances that we put in our bodies and in our bodies, made of chemicals, we, we discussed this, and how we use these substances um, depends upon the chemical properties of each really. So basically we deal very rarely with pure substances. Even when you, you drink water, which you think of is, as just H2O, that bottle of water, so not your, not your tap water, that bottle of water that you're drinking is, is chock full of, of all sorts of other chemicals. You've got your, your fluorine in there, you've, you've got some chlorine in there to kill the bugs, the, the fluorine is for your teeth, um, there's some magnesium in there. And this, this stuff's important, like without this, you, you would die, your body would not absorb the water. You need that. So generally, we're dealing with mixtures. Um, there are two types of mixtures that we'll go more into next lesson, and they are homogenous and heterogeneous. Now, well, I'm sure you know exactly what they are already, but we will cover those in more detail next lesson. All right, so our food. Basically, a food consists of, of various different things. So um, you have carbohydrates. These can be either simple or complex. Now, simple carbohydrates we, we tend to refer to as, as sugars. Uh, complex carbohydrates, that's what we refer to as carbs, so those are just starches. You also have the proteins. These are made up of amino acids. Okay, um, you've got fats and oils. Okay, so these are your macronutrients. 
you need lots of these. Um, they, these make up the bulk of your diet, and you tend to you tend to get these your energy from these things. So that's compared to the micronutrients. Um, such as oh, your what are you, your, your vitamins, your minerals. We'll also throw in there some fiber. Now, all of these are made up of carbon, oxygen, nitrogen. Particularly that and hydrogen. So are you. Basically, you are what you eat. Again, nearly every food we eat. Is a mixture. It's almost impossible to get a food which is a pure substance. Just does not happen. Now, with with hygiene and health, will. We'll use lots of things. Like we use soap, uh, shampoo. You we'll also use, say, deodorants. And you know, your toothpaste, cleansing creams. Not really sure what that is. Sure, I spell it even. Um, and yeah, so basically these tend to all be mixtures of glycerols, fats, oils, alcohols. Now Often, another aspect of this is cleaning, so cleaning the house. These are usually, usually quite basic, um, often corrosive, they have many different functions. Um, do you also have alcohols, so methylated spirits? And most of these, while still made up of um, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, they're made up in such a way that like, the chemicals are combined in such a way that if you were to eat any of this, you would die. And that's what's interesting. It's not the individual atoms that make chemistry interesting. It's it's the way you can put them together in different ways, just rearrange them for such various ends. Anyway, um, take your notes. If you need to go back over this, feel free to go back over it. Obviously, uh, enjoy. Good luck. See you tomorrow. Ready to work.